Are you ready to open up our Advent self? Hmm? <laughs> Let's go to it. Hello. Happy Tuesday. We made it through Monday. That's always an accomplishment. Well, um, I guess we can go ahead and open up our Advents. <laughs> Here. Okay, let's start with beehive yarns. Looks like there's a little something extra in there today. <clears throat> Ooh. Yummy. Elfie wants to see, don't you? Okay, let's see what we got here. Ooh, that's different. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? This is Kiss the Frog. <laughs> That's a fun one. Oh, if you're making this difficult, babe. Okay, that was my beehive yarns. And here it is. Dandelion and Frogwood. Ooh, that is pretty. Poppies and corn flowers. Oh, I know what one that's from. That is from Sleeping Murder. Oh, I like that. He is being extra feisty today. Look at how pretty he is. Because the bedding in that room had poppies and corn flowers and had matching wallpaper. That's really pretty. Love it. Okay. Well, um, I did get a few questions from one of you lovely friends. Um, so I'll address a couple of them and maybe some save some for later. Um, first, I want to show you my progress. Looky there, looky there. So, I finished off the Digitalis and I've done the whole um, section of Dead Man's Folly. And so I've started on the Champagne on the Orient Express. So, moving right along with that, I've reached the more simple cabled section now. So I wonder if it'll go along even more quickly. Um, I have to get some yarn from Elfie. Just a moment. Oh, goodness. Well, I guess the question I could start with is, um, she asked how Alfie came to live with me. So, um, basically I'd been wanting a cat. I, I like, I really love cats. Um, and we are allowed one pet in our apartment here. So, um, my friend Catherine, who funnily enough we call Cat, um, she lives on a farm and so they often have kittens. Um, so I let her know that I wanted a kitten. And so, um, she noticed that one of her kitty cats was expecting kittens. And so she actually brought her into the house um, and let her stay in the bathroom until she had her kitten. She's actually an outside cat, but she let her, um, stay inside. And so then Alfie was one of those kittens. And my friend Kat knew right away that I was going to want Alfie because he was just so cute and just a little gray kitten. And, um, and so her daughter actually even had taken a shine to Alfie and she's like, don't get attached to that one because Michelle's going to want that one. <laughs> and she was right. So I did want him. Here, maybe I'll put in some pictures for, of the first time I saw him um, when he wasn't very fluffy yet. Um, I'll put in some pictures here. Um, and then maybe a few after I got him too when he was so tiny and cute. Um, he's still cute, but he's not tiny anymore. Um, but yeah, so, and at first, um, weren't sure if he was a girl or a boy, 
because uh, he's so fluffy but then come to find out he is a little boy cat so if he had had if he had been a girl he would have been called fiona for his long name and fifi for short um and i was expecting a girl cat for some reason so that was like the name we had picked out and then um we decided to go ahead and um of course pick a boy name too just in case so and it turns out that it was good that we did because he is our alfred and we call him alfie obviously so um yeah so that's that story and it he was born at the end of march so it was like right as the whole lockdown was happening um so it was fun to get pictures from my friend cat um of the little kittens and videos and things and then um was finally able to bring him home and he's just been our feisty little lp ever since so that is one question she had asked um the others were all um knitting related she asked what my favorite wool wash is for my um knits and really, I just use wool light. Nothing fancy. Um, because honestly, um, like this one's been washed. I mean, it doesn't really smell nice afterwards, but it doesn't smell bad. It just kind of doesn't smell. And honestly, I feel like wool just smells like wool. I mean, that's just kind of the way it is. But um, so yeah, nothing fancy there. And then my favorite knitting needles um i prefer wooden or bamboo needles um for everything i don't know i just like how they feel i like how they're a little grabbier if that makes sense and i feel like um they have almost like a little give to them so they're like less stress i feel like on my hands um and they're warmer than metal they're they're always nice and slightly warm um and yeah i just like them so and no particular brand either really any any brand it's fine um i think these are clover brand i've got others but again, I'm not really picky about that. Um, so yeah, there. I'll just answer those questions. There's a couple others, um, but I'd have to do some digging to pull out past projects to answer those. So I'm. I'll save those for tomorrow, maybe. Um, but yeah, probably just gonna be a shorter episode again today because not much happening. Um, but yeah, as far as sickness wise, I feel. Really Alfie just fell off the bed. I feel really well. Um, even my little froggy is leaving me, I think. So, thankful for that. Well, you guys have a lovely Tuesday. Um, I hope you're well, and I hope to see you again soon.